Rob from the Clouds, it's your good friend Whimsy Rainbow Star, and we are continuing with Bayonetta on Chapter 12, The Broken Sky. Now, if you saw the last episode, I was an idiot, and I accidentally bought the wrong accessory. Because I thought I was gonna, like, cancel out of the menu. I ended up buying Sergei's Lover, which makes you, I think, multiply into multiple forms. I don't- I don't know how that would even work. I- I don't know. It's yeah. stupid. I'm pissed. Yeah. I wanted the butterflies to protect you! Button yeah. mashing in my anger out! I'm so mad. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. May I have my glasses back? Huh? Her hair. Oh. Yeah. Here you She's go. Okay. Was there not, a... like... How did you get such magical glasses? Magical. <laughs> the glasses aren't magic, silly. I can see the monsters without them. Monsters? Not quite. So, uh, has Bayonetta, I mean your mom, <laughs> He's like... been fighting these big bad monsters for a long time? Mummy is a witch, and witches protect people and are very strong. Very strong. When I grow up, I'll be strong too, and I'll protect my money. Oh, okay. wait. You think witches do what? But they do. Oh, forget it. No point in arguing with a little kid. I'll manage on my own. I'm yes. sure you will. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor <Hey>. Luca. <laughs> Shit. You never cease to amuse me, Cheshire. I have the feeling we're going to be getting I one of these planes. I suppose that's your next target. <laughs> He's like, ow! <laughs> this is yours, little one. You didn't cry while I was gone, did you? Aw. <laughs> she bandaged. Nope. Good. No. Bayonetta, no matter how I ask, no matter how many times, you always say the same thing. Come now, Kitty. You know it was a all misunderstanding. Just... You're so stubborn. You know that. I really want to know what, like, fucking, what's going on. My father. He was yeah. a journalist too. In fact, he was twice the man I could ever hope to be. He was obsessed with one case his entire career. Case so bizarre it took over his life. They could have made a movie of the details. <laughs> the followers of darkness, the Umbra witches, and their life world counterparts, the Lumen Sages, controlling everything with a power known as the Eyes of the World. Then, <laughs> the light and dark clans suddenly disappeared from their medieval home in Europe. You may be familiar with the town. You're standing in it. Yeah, Vigrid. Welcome to Vigrid. 500 years later. 500 years. Ow. Each clan, working at the behest of the powers that be, sought to lead their fractured world towards peace. They both possessed an eye said to have the power to create history that they used to oversee the world. However, their spirit of cooperation did not last. For amongst them, a pair of young star-crossed lovers conceived a child that sent the clans on a path to ruin. Really? The Holy woman God. was thrown in jail, and the man exiled from his clan. However, the child remained with the Umbra, raised as a black sheep even amongst the darkness. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost, both clans spiraled into decay. Whoa. Legend had it that the two eyes could be united to control reality itself. And this legend fueled ambition and desire, leading to a myriad of battles between the clans. In fact, it led to their mutual destruction. My father was mocked for buying such a fairy tale. How did he However, find out about it? I believed his story. And I believe it more than ever now that I've found well, you. yeah. The memory of the clan lingers on, despite the passing of 500 years. What on earth was my father searching for? And why did he have to die for it? I have 
have to discover the truth with my own eyes. I've seen it so many times. Now. That's why I haven't given up my chase for it. Or you. The head of the Ithaval group, the multinational that dominates Vigrid, recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. If he isn't selling out in the open, it means we're going to have to acquire it by other means. And that starts by sneaking onto that jet. <laughs> well then. Aww. She's so cute! I'm gonna stand like her. <sighs> That's so adorable. <laughs> How cute. Mommy, are you looking for something? I am. How did you lose it? Little one. I don't think it was hers to begin with. Maybe, I don't know. Do you have anything you really like? Something really important to you? That's a number which is like thing. Shit. Where did you get this? You gave it to me, mummy, for my birthday. She's like, what? But she has one of her own, so when you love something, never lose it. Oh understand, little one? She just gave her one you of her ribbons. Keep it safe. Close to your heart. I doubt that'll change her character uh, graphic, though. <laughs> it's a long cutscene. <laughs> oh, she's cute. At least Bayonetta is being like you know nice to her and stuff. Oh fuck! Little one. Oh dear god. Save her! Look! <laughs> it's weird, she's missing a ribbon now. It's like... Oh my god. Oh, Teresa, where are you? Teresa! Oh. <laughs> Luca! Uh oh. Dangerous. Oh god. Ow! Oh, that's a big. Uh, oh, no, it's off. And now what? Where's Teresa? <laughs> We're just gonna leave Luca behind. He's like, well, fuck. That was a long cutscene. Like, damn. Oh, you got military transport Valkyrie interior. I don't know. <gasps> well, that was cute. God. Oh, Sorry, though. No. Something is attacking me from inside this plane. Or. Like, whoa. It's like a metallic looking. Oh, fuck. Okay, no. Fuck. 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 Sorry. Oh, it's a great hot shot. I already have one. I don't think I can have two. I don't know that it would let me. Oh, yeah, let me equip that dumbass item now. Oh, I can! Cool. Okay. Ugh. I don't know what that's gonna do. Let me- wait, let me- does it- No, that's the same. <laughs> Matryoshka dolls, that's funny. Ah! I don't even know how to use it. Oh, dear God. Wait, oh. Oh, gee. What the fuck is that? Wait, are these bandit as monsters? Because that looked like, um, Gamora. Gamora? Or is Jean attacking me? Yeah. Would that be it? Because it, it looks like slightly bizarre. Oh, a book. The Valkyrie Military Transport. It's been a while since we found a book. 
beast. Oh, I guess we're just walking around. Okay. Unfittingly for a city of its small size, Vigrid plays host to a large military airbase. The, ro the roar of takeoff and landings that engulf the city are not that of passenger planes, but of incredibly large military transport jets known as Valkyries. Mm. I have been aboard American military transports many times in an official capacity, and have seen many of the finest jets up close. However, none compares to even a distant view of a Valkyrie. The size difference is clearly evident, like the difference in size between a crow and an eagle. To think that something that large could fly in the sky is something that I still cannot believe, despite having seen it with my own eyes. Of course, there is no doubt that the cargo it carries is quite dangerous, so seeing the plane's huge mass literally drop onto the runway during landings causes me to feel a deep anxiety, as if the weight of the plane were literally landing on my shoulders. Okay. It leads one to wonder what the authorities are bringing into this little principality, with all the extreme security they have in Vigrid. Don't whip your tail on my feet. What are you doing? Beast. Uh, Vigrid has long since cut most ties with the outside world, and has reared itself within its own unique culture. Perhaps it is this influence that led to the Valkyrie's equally unique design. At a glance, one can see the deep religious influence in its design, or perhaps that view is simply our deference to a plane born of technology, so different from our own that we simply nod our heads in astonishment at the miracle of flight. Yeah, it looks like it has a halo on the end. Zoe, your nasal passages are so noisy. It's funny. <laughs> My cats breathe really loud, it's, it's adorable. Oh, well, then. Really? Yeah, I get the feeling I'm not the only uncle. Oh, witch. Oh, oh dear god. Shit. It's funny that she doesn't, like, have the ability to. Oh, fuck. The ability to do that when she's like, there's another book. So I'm a bitch! Oh, um, like, she has to rely on the on the, the panther creature, but yet she can do that in some parts. It's like, well, I'm gonna do Is there an arm on the floor? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah! Oh, I was like, what is that? But it looked, no, it was just the, the shadows on it. I mean, it like fucking Ultimisha got summoned over here. I'm like, um, more Final Fantasy VIII references? I mean, we've already got a character who is very obviously similar to Irvine, and then there's the whole, like, the Laguna thing. I mean, come on, guys, right? I love it, though. I love it. It's fun. Kiss it. Make it better. Oh. There's a bump on my tongue. It's hurting so bad. Okay. Crap, I think I lost you. Oh, shit. Yalahorn Defense Initiative. Ah, don't need to my makeup. At the center of the man-made island of Isla del Sol, there is a display of sheer military force, unimaginable for the likes of Vigrid. A display whose menacing power even I cannot shake. While there is very little public face to these efforts, if my information is correct, the military spending here ri <laughs> rivals that of even the greatest powers in the world. God. Moreover, amongst the towers of enterprise and government, other buildings stand as anti-aircraft countermeasures. These buildings, a strategic defense initiative known as the Galahorns, are equipped with a battery of anti-aircraft SAM missiles and have been placed in four corners of the island. Oh my god. Dude. I'm looking at that picture, it's nuts. What in the world would cause a small place like this to install such dramatic defenses? There's also word that the Americans are involved in the armament and expansion of the military complex here. It is said that the Ithaval Group is undertaking some sort of next generation energy research and thus has traded rights to this technology for added force of arms. It is not a wholly unbelievable story. Seeing all of the military takeoffs and landings here in Vigrid, I don't want to think that their, des their destination is actually the place I call home. So I guess that this person is Vigridian. The Gridian. Gates of Hell. I don't need to go in there because fucking I bought the wrong thing. This looks shifty. Is it just being dumb? Ah. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, what the fuck? These planes are bizarre. They're huge too. Dialy bitches. Do I get slow? Oh, I do. Oh god. I thought it would fall. Hey, stop fucking. My camera. 
Oh god. I really, really, really don't want to fall off. I don't want to know what's going your old self, are we? I was right. The cross. Up there. I think it's a cross. Old self, what are you talking about? Why so glum? Something troubling you? Only your constant fretting over my state of affairs. I've no time to play games with you. No need to take out your stress on <laughs> me, Bayonetta. It's clear you're worried for the girl. Fuck, I gotta fight her again! Oh! Shit. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Dude, these girls make some sexy poses. Whoa! Whoa! That's <laughs> Oh it looks like a mask, that's so funny. Uh. <laughs> oh my. Tell me where she is. Now. My, aren't we attached to our precious little one? Do you like it when she calls you mummy? Her glasses are absolutely she... delusional. If I leave her, he'll never shut up about it. And his whining is twice as irritating as anything the child could muster. <laughs> You've quite the tongue when it comes to curling round the truth. Well... And what uh, about you? No. What are you hiding? Fuck. Oh, right, Jean and Cereza. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the might mean something to you. <gasps> I've no need for worthless junk. What the fuck is that? I am well aware of my task, but you have forgotten. But I do not need your help. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Oh. I forgot about that monster. I remember him. John, I don't understand. <laughs> Duh. I don't understand what you're doing at all. Rain? Whoa. What the fuck? Even. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Fill them. Fill your eyes with hatred. Accept your violent fate. Accept it and earn the left eye. Prove you deserve it. <laughs> She's like, I'm so over this. <laughs> Still have only one ribbon. And we get to fight again. Oot. You know, what, I feel like. Hold on. I feel like it's more appropriate to fight her with Scarborough Fair equipped. Am I right? Am I right? I don't even know how Sergei's lover works. I, I, Whoa, I forgot the combos with this gun are actually really cool. Whoa. Did I just do that? Just beating up on your drone, like, that's so- oh yeah, she got it. Oh god, so, um, if we fall off the shit- or the airplane, is it gonna be, like, fucking Mortal Kombat with the interactive backgrounds that, like, kill you? Or, you know, the levels that are like, oh look, you fatality and the level killed you. Uh oh. What? Oh my god. I punched your most like Too late. Too 
I also do really think that the music in this game is uh, really cool. Not even like that. Yeah, I love that you can use Witch Hunter against Witch yeah, I feel like I like the combos better with this kind of Scarborough. Just like equip Scarborough Fair for the rest of the. I don't care! There we go. I'd rather. Should we give me the end of the episode? Or no, I'm the chapter. I keep saying episode, I'm sorry, I meant to. Slam it. Ugh. Whoa, I keep pressing R2 twice. And not making it be that. Fuck off, Jesus. Oh, shit. Where'd your motorcycle go? Oh, I was like, oh, I got dodged that hand. Oh, it's fine. That was my butterfly lady. I wonder what John's is, because they both got similar bats were pulled. Similar uh, abilities, so it's like. I wonder what um, her demon is, Silver. Teresa. She is very concerned. That look on her face. Watch her. Uh, random. She be gone. Not yet. She isn't ready. What am I supposed to be ready for? Yeah. I I miss using these guns. I like Scar Warfare. There's so many shells flying everywhere. Wow. Oh, I see Sergei's lever on my left hand. That's cool. Okay, I wonder if that would be a good place to end the episode, but, uh, it's happening, so I don't know. Okay, continuing with chapter 12, Bayonetta, and we just fought Jean again, and, uh, I re-equipped Scarborough Fair because I just, I like this gun. It's really cool looking. I see why they're Bayonetta's favorite, and I'm kind of, like, remember- Oh, shit! Okay, let's, let's pay attention here. Oh, I see another one. Uh, okay. So, I don't know how much left this chapter's gonna have, but we'll see. Hopefully enough to- Treasure of the clans, the eyes of the world. Ooh. I think that's another thing. There weren't enough books. That's what was like making it kind of. Yeah. Several hundred years ago, the now vanished clans of the Umbra Witches and Lumen Sages stood as overseers of time immemor immemorial, thriving from their remote European base known as Vigrid. However, their reign quickly came to an, to an end close. To a close via a violent war that ended in their mutual destruction. Their war lasting for a hundred years saw the witches and their campaign of assassination push them into the brink of victory. Yet the people's fear of these powerful women spawned the witch hunts and eventually both clans vanished into the aether. Uh, aether. Long serving the powers set that be, it is said that the clans did not use their powers to interfere with history, but rather to protect its passage. We are told that they carried out these duties via the use of the treasured eyes of the world. Why does this sound familiar? Yet what is this? Was Yet yeah, what the statement means is anyone's guess. What is clear is that the clan's very existence was closely linked to historical change, so much so that even kings and emperors feared the clan's power. There were two eyes of the world, one each controlled by the witches and the sages, which when used together were able to carry out their stated task of overseeing, to prevent the power of these eyes from being used for nefarious purposes. They were equally split, and the clans prohibited any relations in an effort to maintain the balance of power that existed between them. The irony is that the grand war that led to the clan's destruction was sparked by these very treasures. After their downfall, the eyes of the world suddenly disappeared. Information about them is extremely limited. What sort of item were the eyes? Which shape did they take? All this remains unknown. The black market recently saw a large gemstone come into the market bearing the name the eyes of the world. Although it may be a different item under the same name, or even a mafia scam meant to gauge, ma gauge market reaction. Enzo would know, right? There is no proof that the ancient treasure was actually a gem, but there is reliable, albeit troubling, information regarding the treasure and the CEO of the Ithamol group. It is said that he is in search of some unknown item for his development project in, in Next Generation Energy, but whether it has any relation to this matter requires further research. I think it sounded familiar because it sounded like the stuff from the, uh... The, um... Did we? Did I summon a new... Oh, we did! Yeah, that's right. The centipede creature. Scolopendra. Interesting. That's a really cool name. Vile centipede hailing from Frigian Tonta, a river of boiling blood in the depths of Inferno. Rumors speak of its body exceeding 10 kilometers in length. Holy crap. 
Moving unlike anything its size, it de its deafness allows it to wrap around and constrict its prey in the blink of an eye. Pretty awesome. I have two more to find, or to see, I guess. Um. So. Uh, I was gonna say, I think it sounds familiar because it's the stuff that was said in the very beginning of the game. What's the next platform I jump to? Here? Oh, okay, that's not underwater. Oh, but it's electrified. Fuck. Okay. Um. So worried. There she is. Mommy! 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 Theresa! Mommy! I'm so scared! No crying now, little one. You know the rules. No cockroaches or crying babies. Oh my god, to protect her. Time to go, little one. Hold on tight, okay? I swear to God, if this is gonna be the end of the chapter. Oh no, okay. Oh my God, I have to actually hold her. Oh, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh what is go? Oh shit. Oh, wait, what? Look down. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Oh, I see. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. No, oh God. Oh, oh God. Shit, shit, shit. This is crazy. Ah, uh, what? Serious is like hurting. No, no, pick her up, pick her up, pick her up, pick her up. Pick up. Oh, shit. I'm trying to witch walk, but apparently I can't. Oh my god, okay. So raise a I need to like HP up here, man. Um get the fuck out of my way. Fuck out of my way. Oh god, I have to. Okay. I'll stick you over here. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, what the fuck? You piece of shit! Why do you gotta spawn right by my kid? Man. Why are you gonna be dicks like that? Let's go, she like morphs into her. Fucking, sucking, fucking bitches. Bullshit. Piece of shit. Okay. That's so cool looking. God, they're spawning awfully close to her. No, no, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck the fuck off. Piece of shit. I could be doing less damage because I equip, I equip Scarborough Fair. Really? I feel like I did so shitty. Let's go. This point's fucked. Oh no! No! Oh god. Oh god. We got a Titanic situation going on here. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. Okay. Run, 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 run. I have to fight them? Do I? Yeah, bitch, yeah. Fucking kill your shit face, stupid. It's getting kinda late. I'm the insults are lacking. <laughs> oh yeah, I have the chainsaw right now. Well, I just beat both of them. Or one of them, I don't know. Oh the chainsaw's so slow. Ditch that. Crap. Meta? It's so crazy that she can do that. Like, it's like, how is she doing that? Even. Right, I can't double jump with her. Ooh. Boy, you luck out, right? God damn, these chapters are so freaking. Ugh. <laughs> Dang, shit's crazy right now. Ugh. I think I should go down to 20 minutes for an episode instead. And Ladies and gentlemen, it's what you've been waiting for. Angel attack! Ready? Jesus. And the bullets? Oh, that was dumb. Waste of all of them. Got it. Oh, 
that thing. Oh, Jesus. Meh! Bitches, I have like two left. Four realsies. Cool. Racked up 45. <sighs> nah. Well, we're halfway to the item that I actually wanted. I don't even know how to use Sergei's lever. I'll, maybe I'll look that up. I think this might be the last episode for right now. Oh boy. What does that even say? <laughs> A little airplane. Cardinal virtue of prudence. Oh boy. Alright. Save. What exactly is the definition of prudence? I don't know. Alright. So yeah, I'm probably done with this for right now. I'm kind of tired. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, can't imagine what's going to come next in chapter 13. And uh, hopefully I won't accidentally buy the wrong item next time. I'm just going to go right down to the butterfly one and buy it. I wanted to just see what each one was, and then I went and click. Oops. Dumb. Alright. Probably going to hop on my computer and record some computer games for you all. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. So... Check the annotations at the end of the video. Check out the links in the description below. Like and subscribe and share. Well, scribe. Well, like and subscribe if if you uh, want to. And share the videos too. Um, wherever it's fine. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. And until then, stay whimsical. Sure, it's too exaggerated because it's a cartoon thing. What's with the whistle? Me. No, that guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> Behind it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Minecraft, like a hidden- Oh, those are the guns! Those are the guns. The iconic guns. Thank you!